either we can be to think tangle and learning in this video are going to look on divergence and convergence of series. So given a series and you want to determine if the series converges and also given that the value of P P is just a constant. Okay. So when you are given this type of series like this one, so this is a P series. If you don't know what a P series looks like, you just go to think tangle and learning. You're going to see I've uploaded a 40 minute long video which I explained all the method that we use to test the series. Okay, so in this case, I'm going to use integral test because this is a piece. Okay, so to use the integral test, the function or the series should satisfy these three conditions. So the function should be continuous. Okay, so if we say lean n over n, so this is this is same as saying lin x over x since this is a constant or not that constant with that you're going to see that this function is continuous okay from two up to infinite okay so it should be continuous between these two intervals okay now what is the other thing the other thing is that the function should be decreasing okay so what do you mean if you say the function should be decreasing okay so as the value of n gets bigger the value of this function should be decreasing okay if you take your calculator and if you say lean 100 divided by n to the power p let's just say p is 1 lean 100 divided by 100 you're going to get a number and if you say lean 200 divided by 200 you're going to say the number that you're going to get it's, it's going to be smaller than the first one so that means the series the function is decreasing so the function this function of the series should be positive okay so if we say lean x over over x we're going to see this is a positive function between two to infinity okay so now let's get to it what we're going to do what i'm going to do want to evaluate the integral of this so i'm going to say let f of x be equal to lean instead of writing a and i'm going to write x and x to the power p okay and after that we're going to evaluate the integral so if the inter if our integral converges that means the series also converges and if our integral diverges and that means that the series is going to also diverge okay so how do you know that the integral our integral is converges our integral is converging or integral is diverging okay so if we get a value which is more than which is which is more than one that means the series converges and if we get a function or a value that is less than if we get a value that is less than one that means the function is decreasing okay so now what are we going to do i'm going to evaluate that integral so i'm going to write here the integral as n from two up to positive infinity okay of lean x over x to the power p dx okay so now we need to integrate this and we're going to use integration by parts so let me write this as two positive infinite lean x times x to the power negative p dx like this one so in this integration by parts your u should be something that is to differentiate in this case lean x is not e is not at to differentiate okay so what is is to differentiate is going to be u so i'm going to say du dx which is the derivative going to be one over x okay and your v prime which is the is something that is not easy to integrate in this case it's x to the power negative p and you say dv if you just integrate both sides you're going to see that our v is going to be equal to x i'm going to add the power here so it's going to be negative p plus 1 divided by negative p plus 1. Okay, so now we have our v and we have our u. Okay, but there's something that I need to do right here. Okay, this is going to ease my work. So we have x and we have x. So what if we know that u is equals to lean x, right? So I'm going to say x is equals to e to the power u by just taking the exponential on both sides okay so we're going to use this information later and this is going to be very 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 special information and very very helpful okay so now we're going to say instead of writing infinity or no longer writing that we're going to say the limit as b approaches infinity we're going to choose a constant there is number constant okay so from two now saying b okay 
because I say the limit has be approaches positive infinity. So now we're going to say lean x b equal to the limit as b approaches positive infinity. And remember, when you're using integration by parts, so the formula is going to be u v minus v the integral of v du okay like this so this is what we're going to use so what is our u our u this is u which is lean x and what is v okay so v is this thing is this long thing so it's x to the power one minus p divided one minus p okay so this is x okay minus what minus the integral of v what is v so this is v x to the power p negative p plus one divided by what okay you're going to divide by negative p plus one and for du we have d here so it's going to be one over x and we're going to say dx not forgetting our limits from 2 to positive infinity which is b okay so now we're going to integrate i'm assuming that you're familiar with you know the laws of indices we're just going to subtract this power so the power of x is 1 and the power of x is minus p plus 1 okay so let's do that if we do that we're going to get the limit as b approaches positive infinity okay then right here we're going to have lin x times x to the power 1 minus p divided by 1 minus p and right here we are going to say x if we say 1 minus 1 for the powers x to the power negative p divided by negative p plus 1 dx from 2 to b you know okay you see are good now so now what do we need to do okay let us face integrate here and remember this is just x to the power constant so we're going to add the power divided by the new power okay let's do that limit as b approaches positive infinite lean x nothing has changed here x to the power one minus p over one minus p minus okay so i'm going to say x if we had the power it's going to be minus p plus one divide by minus p plus one and i'm going to divide by the new power I'm going to be eight minus p plus one right here and we're going to put our limits from two to b okay so in order to ease our work or to reduce our mad works okay so what we're, what we're going to do is that we have said that x is e to the power u right let's apply that here so you are going to say the limit as b approaches positive infinity for lin x is going to be e to the power u so lin x is going to be lin into the power u and this is going to give us u okay so i'm going to have u here and you're going to have e to the power u one minus p divided by one minus p okay then right here i'm going to have negative e to the power u one minus p divided by one plus p squared and we have our limits from two to b so now let's go to b okay so now we need to plug in our limits okay so we're going to I'm going to put b since this two is just a small constant compared to b i'm not going to be concerned about that so i'm going to say b for you here e to the power b one minus p divided by one minus p okay then i'm going to say minus e to the power b 1 minus p divided by 1 plus p squared okay 
and for the constant rate the lower bound i'm not going to look on it okay so now from this i can now analyze my series okay so now to write our conclusion what i'm going to say okay so for this series to be convergent one minus p than zero in order for it to converge this should be lesser than zero so that means p should be greater than one okay so the series diverges or converging depending on the value of p